Hello and welcome to my channel. In the last video, we download and installed Unity. In this tutorial, I will show you how to synchronize uh, Unity with Visual Studio. So the first thing we want to do is going to Edit and Preference, and in in this tab, we have here the external tools and the external script editor should be Visual Studio. You should have your Visual Studio here. I will show you how to get it here. If you don't have it, you can browse it. Okay. Um, we can go to the search bar. Sorry, my search bar. My computer is in Portuguese. You search for Visual Studio. Here we go. Uh, right click and uh, open the file location. Now I have a shortcut here, this means that it's a shortcut. You can select this when we are browsing in, uh, in the preference, but you can also check for the true location by right clicking again and open again the file location. And now this is our real file location in programs, uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and blah blah and gets here. You can copy this if you want. Copy. And you'll copy the location of this file. So you can select it. Remember the name is for example devnv.x. If you don't have the Visual Studio option here, you can browse it and you can go here and paste it. And you can select it here and open, okay? And that should do it for you. Uh, this is it's probably will fix some errors if when people don't have uh, Unity synchronized with Visual Studio. You can fix it this way as well. Okay. When you do it, you should have Visual Studio here. That means you are going very well. You can. Search for Visual Studio Installer. Just let me show you this. Check for this Visual Studio Installer. Open. Okay, you should get this window here. And this lets you manage your your versions of Visual Studio. So I have uh, the new Visual Studio from last year. Uh, you sh you probably have one of these. If you work with with this with this software uh, from some quite some time, uh, you can install and manage some stuff here. You can modify it. At this compile, so we can add a lot of stuff here. For example, we have Unity stuff related here. Game development with Unity. Um, you should have this one checked. I also have this one at the moment. We have here game development with Unity. So we have included the Visual Studio tools for Unity and C Sharp and Visual Basic. This will let you have some search options when working with, with Visual Studio and Unity. I'll show you in a, in a second. So we, we are okay now and close this. And we can close the installer and close the preference if you have this here already. And now we can see if this is working. Let's create a new folder called scripts. And inside of it, let's create a C sharp script. First, I'll call it first program. No spaces here, just put it like this, okay? Program. Let's open up. Beautiful image there. <laughs> it's opening. The first time that you open Unity and Visual Studio is always a little slower. Okay, mine was. 
in the second screen. Let me push you to the the main screen where I'm recording. Maximize it. Okay, and we have we have here our first program class. Okay, this is our name of the file. The name of the file should match this name here, or you'll get some errors. And we can see if this is working by putting a, a simple debug log. So we'll we'll put a debug log. Here. See, this is what I'm I was telling you. Uh, Visual Studio autocomplete uh, give you some options of you, what you want to to write. So I put a debug log. And let's say it's working. And you can save it. Okay, you can save it like this, or you can hit Control S. Uh, Debug.log is a simple, simple method to print on the console uh, in Unity, and we are doing it on the start method. Uh, start method is called when Unity first run the program. Uh, so we can go now to Unity, and you should see. Sometimes there is a, a a little wheel here, a progress bar that when it's loading, probably this program is so simple that almost didn't need that. So we have our first program. Let's see. Okay, seems working. It's here. We can check it on the console as well. We will just put it to a. We can put this this program in the main camera just for now. Let's see if it's here. Ignore this. Ignore all the stuff here. We just want the first program script attached. And let's run the program in play. Okay, you can you don't see nothing in the in the window, but if you look here, that's that's our text. And you can check it in the console as well, okay? So it's working, in fact, indeed it's working, and that's that's it for this lesson. Uh, let me know if you have any error, any information you need. Uh, in the next video we'll cover up some of the tools inside Unity, some of the uh, these, these little boxes that you see everywhere, we'll, we'll talk about this later. So I'll see you there, and thank you for watching.